It's one of the most famous cars in the world and one of the coolest, the 1964 Aston Martin DB5 issued to 007, James Bond of course. Made famous in such movies as Goldfinger, this car is full of surprises. This particular version is sadly not the real thing, I'd love to have that. Hey, who would win in a battle of Kit from Knight Rider? versus this. We'll get to that later. Uh, anyway, this is the 124th scale model from the Denbury Mint, which just sounds important. It was sent to the show by our good friend Dean from California. And sadly, in transit, it was attacked by bad guys who shot off the front right mirror. But that's okay, James Bond doesn't use that mirror anyway. As you can see, this car has a lot of details, including all of the cool gadgets installed on this particular Aston Martin DB5 for James Bond. Like machine guns, an ejector seat, bulletproof rear shield, and rotating license plate. The license plate is a little bit hard to rotate, so I, I will ha I'll have to talk to Q about that afterwards. Now one thing that's really impressive about this car is the paint job, they just nailed the color perfectly. Also, check out the shag carpet on the inside, as well as the ridiculous amount of detail that they put into the interior of this car. I have the roof off, so you can eject somebody out of that ejector seat and then back over them while machine gunning them. This is a very well-crafted, intricate, collectible car. Definitely not a toy. In fact, I, I actually lost the roof for the day that I shot this, but don't worry, we found it afterwards just in case James Bond needs to drive somewhere in the rain. Now, uh, one of the cool things here is that this car isn't just guns and all of the flashy stuff from the movies, it also has the engine. And it weighs a ton, this thing is built like a brick. Except for that mirror that was shot off, but don't worry, those guys got what was coming to them. This thing also has wheels that steer back and forth with the steering wheel, and it runs on premium. Premium awesome sauce. It also has rubber tires and this thing, so you can shred enemy chariots Ben-Hur style. And I love that it steers. It's such an accurate representation of the James Bond Aston Martin. I love it. So thanks again to Dean. And you can usually see this car sitting on the shelf in the background of any classic game room intergalactic space arcade studio shots. Because it's just that cool. The Danbury Mint, 124th scale 1964 James Bond 007 Aston Martin DB5. Anyway, Kit versus the DB5, I'm going to go with Murray the Talking El Camino. <laughs> <laughs> 